If you're planning an HVAC upgrade, we recommend getting a building envelope inspection done first. Optimizing the building envelope means you can upgrade to a more efficient equipment of smaller capacity and it saves you money. Then look at house construction. What's the state of the insulation, windows, doors? Has there been any major renovations or add-ons? Fix the building insulation and leaks first. It's more cost effective. We assess if the existing ductwork system can sustain the higher airflow requirements of heat pump systems compared to conventional furnaces. Next, we assess the physical dimensions, space, and clearance for the outside unit. Room in the furnace room for the air handler. These are key factors to determine if the home is a good candidate. Secondary considerations include do you need backup heat? We've seen many jobs where the heat pump is grossly oversized for the home's heating requirements. The legacy furnace in this home was 72,000 BTUs per hour, or six heating tons. But you can't look at the existing unit and say, well, it's a six ton furnace, therefore it should be replaced with a six ton heat pump. First of all, you need to assess the actual heating and cooling loads of the home. We recommend that homeowners complete an Energuide Energy Efficiency Home Evaluation. The data collected includes the level of the home's air tightness using a blower door test, the number, type and location of all windows and exterior doors, the insulation levels of the walls, roof and basement, size and efficiency ratings of the heating cooling, and domestic hot water equipment, information about ventilation equipment, and any other information relevant to the home's energy performance. The report told homeowners that it would be a good idea to allocate part of their project budget to weatherization and upgrades to the home envelope. This means that you can put in a smaller system while still maintaining the comfort levels that you're used to, saving money on equipment and utility costs. Some of the measures that we recommend to customers are draft roofing and air sealing, attic and roof insulation, basement and crawl space insulation, window and door upgrades. We found that NRCAN's air source heat pump sizing and selection tool was a good stepping point between the Energuide and the equipment selection. It's a useful way for contractors to see what the impacts are of the various heat pump models and communicate the optimal size to their customers. We're pleasantly surprised how well the smaller heat pumps keep up, even on the coldest days. In this home, we installed a two and a half ton centrally ducted unit. That's less than half the size of the original furnace that was replaced. From monitoring the system continuously for the past year, we've seen no impacts to home comfort levels or system performance. The post-project measurements showed that the supplementary backup heating used 2% of the overall heat pump energy, and this was much less than we had expected. We found that the performance of the cold climate heat pump was surprising. The comparable output size was one half to two thirds less than that of the furnace, and still able to provide the required heat. I should stress that the investment in weatherization and air sealing really paid off for this customer. 